Come on, and, player. And, and all I say to all that man is, I do. My, my dad had a tape. He had the Fabulous Four tape. Yeah. And it was it was the Fabulous Four. Marvin Hagler, uh, uh, Sugar Ray, Duran, uh-huh. and, and Hearns. And um, my dad would have us watch it, you know. And with, so with me and Kenny, it was like whatever he chose. Like I did something different. I like I chose something different. I just had to be different. You know what I mean? <laughs> and when when I saw Herms fight Hagler, right? Me being a little dude, me being tough, and all these things, I was probably ten, nine or ten when I saw this tape. Yeah, I said I want him to win. I had never seen it before. I said I want him to win. Then the fight happens. I'm watching it on tape, but the fight happens for the first time in my life. Correct. And I seen the way that it went. I seen. I, I remember Tommy start like he started like galloping back, and 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 Marvin started chasing after him. Those things like burned my brain. Okay. And the other thing that burned my brain was I remember hearing the crowd and seeing the crowd. And you was like, and I said, I want to do that one day. I said, I want to be in the ring with so many people screaming and yelling, and I want to be able to be. Everybody, everybody to have all, all eyes on me. And I'm going to be that dog. And I want, that's what I want to do, right? So I get to a point where I get to like kind of realize things about myself, you know? Yeah. And I get to become a version of the Marvin Hagler that I've seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that dog. And so when I get into a room with guys like you, now I'm in a room with you and, I, and I'm, everybody has all these great things to say about me. I say, man, I just was trying to do what I seen somebody else do. Bro. And I was trying to do it to the best of my ability. And I wish everybody thought that did in boxing. Yeah. Dude. I wish everybody thought, yeah. that, thought that did in boxing. Yeah. Because that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to learn from our forefathers yeah. how we're supposed to carry this game on. Yeah. Or else this game will get diluted and messed up. I promise you. Welcome, I promise welcome, you. Welcome, welcome to the rap world. Yep. I but, promise you. you know. Forever. I would, I would watch fights and I would see how guys would handle certain things, cuts and all that kind of stuff. And even though I had never gotten cut before, I said, when I get cut, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna wipe at it like that dude. I'm gonna ignore it like that dude. I get cuts. Never, you never see me wipe at a cut. Mm-hmm. I, I started learning from other fighters what to do what and how to be. So I said, Marvin Hagler's the toughest guy in the world. Mm-hmm. I gotta be tough. Mm-hmm. I can't take steps back. I can't let people see weakness. Anything, right. any of those things. Cause Marvin Hagler didn't do it. You know what I mean? Right. Yep. Then Tim Bradley gets in the ring <laughs> with, <laughs> with Ruslan <laughs> Robotnikov. <laughs> <laughs> And I watched that fight, and I promise you, I watched that fight, and they both fight the way that they was fighting, but I kept looking at Tim. I wanted Tim to win. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at Tim, and I've seen what everything that Tim's going through, and I'm like, what are you, why are you, I just didn't think he was, had to, he, was, he wasn't fighting the best he could fight in the way that he could fight. Mm-hmm. He decided to go toe-to-toe with this dude, and I'm worried for him. I'm like, why are you fighting this dude like that? Why are you doing that? And he's taking all these punches, but giving them two. It is. When it got to the end of the fight, I sat back just like this. Mm. And I said, well, from now on, that's how you fight. <laughs> Based on what Tim Bradley did with we providing the cough, I said, you can't, you, you will never give up and you will never stop punching. But what did Roy say about yeah. Triple G? Yeah. Get in there and make him yeah. punch. You got yeah. to. Yeah. You got but to. that's what you do. You, you wear him you down. Get, if you yeah. don't, you're going to get nothing out of it. You let him yeah. fight his own pace. Listen, that was a dude in my gym. When I was a kid, name was Darren Deal. Darren Deal smoke, Darren Deal drink, Darren Deal don't do road work. You could bring Tim Bradley, you could bring Sean Porter, you could bring Evander Holyfield in the rain Monday in the gym Monday, Wednesday, mm-hmm. Friday. And some people just like that. Let me tell you, yeah, fifteen round with all three. Yeah, of them, yeah. Long as they let him fight his pace. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Long as they let him fight his pace. Yeah. Uh, y'all let him get caught and fight his pace. He'll go 15 with all three of y'all. Yeah. I had to overcome this. Yeah. So I had to figure out how to beat him. Yeah. Because how this dude can, sp- can not run, smoke and drink, and go 15 round with us. Yeah. I said, something got to change. Yeah. So one day I got and I said, let me make him fight at my pace for a minute. Yeah. Third round, dead. Done. Tank empty. Yeah. And I learned that from right there. Yeah. Mm. So it's like, you got to know what you're dealing Experience. with. Experience. 
Yeah. You got to know what you're dealing with. See, that's what I'm guys, saying, you know? man. So but, I need y'all in the gym training these. Not, I'm trying. Not, I'm trying. He's nah, trying. Bro, I ain't it's about only about one of him. I'm trying. <laughs> you, know, you know what that would do? Not only just to, like, it did, to see y'all in the corner, like uh, Mark Breeland. You know, I hated that my, that my man tried to put him down like that, man. Yeah. But, I, you know, to see Mark Breeland in the corner with somebody, man, a champion, mm-hmm. it's like, bro, it, it does something. Well, for the brand, mm-hmm. your brand. If I'm a fighter and they see Roy Jones in my corner, bro, yeah, come on, yeah. man. Yeah. And yo, because that, that that's the fact that you know this man done been battle tested. He done seen the highs, he done seen the lows, the middles, and you know, and he knows, man, that that's what I'm saying, man. These cats missing that, bro. At yeah. the end of the day, man, this is entertainment. Yes, yep. this is entertainment. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it's it's a it's a blood sport, it's, it, you know. Mm-hmm. But it, and it, see what people don't. They don't see the it's art it's artistry, bro. Mm-hmm. In this man, they don't see that, you know. And and not it's skill, it's artistry, but it's entertainment. And this it, when this man fight, he gonna bring it to you. I ain't even talking about this one. Yeah, the, you know he gonna he gonna he gonna give you what you gonna you gonna yes. But like I'm laughing because he said, "Yo, you got you throw five punches, and then you feel your wind. You get your breathing." Yeah. This one don't know about five. He throw 10. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I know because you you saw your, the, the, your, the dudes before you. Yep. The Sugar Ray. I'm yep. about to ask, bro, who was it that you watched? That Sugar Ray. I had a dynamite dozen count. I had the first two was Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard, yeah. then Salvador Sanchez. Yeah. Ooh. That was my top three. Man. You understand me? So from there, I learned, I built that because Benitez gave me my defense, Wolf of Benitez. Marvin gave me my uh, consistency. Mm-hmm. Eddie, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad gave me my left liver shot. Mm. Kwawi gave me a lot of my head movement and stuff because to, as a, for a short guy, to me, he was the coldest short guy of all of them. See this, man? So I go, a, I go a long way with boxing. You feel yeah, me? Yep. And I took, because I, 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 I got tired of looking at guys trying to figure out why I like them. Yeah. So I want to figure out what makes people want to see him. Yeah. What made people want to see him and what made people want to see him. Mm-hmm. But them the top three people looking at. Mm-hmm. When I figure out what it is that make you want to see him, I'm putting all that in this yeah. one. So you like see this one, you see all of them in one. I tell people all the time. You gave me two. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you said Hagler yeah. you saw and somebody else. Um, I mean, it, it, just like That's him. what I, I mean, want to hear. I want to hear your slew. I tell people all the time, I say, when you, when you look at Sean Porter and you say Sean Porter, great. I'm, I'm great because, but I ain't nothing but a big pot of everybody else. So Same for me, it was, it was Marvin Hagler. Mm-hmm. It was Muhammad Ali. Mm-hmm. It was Sugar Ray. It was... Uh, Roberto Duran. I see a little bit of Joe Frazier. It was, a, it was Joe Frazier. Because you keep coming, bro. The left hook specifically. My mm-hmm. dad said, I'm going to show you how to Joe, throw the uh, Joe Frazier left hook. Mm-hmm. My dad showed Kenny being a little taller, slimmer than me. He threw the, the Roy Jones quick hook. So my dad had a method to his madness, man, and and he knew what he was doing. He, my dad, he kind of he looked at us as, as kids, and he kind of knew what we were gonna grow up to be like. He said, "This one's gonna be a little short, compact, <clears throat> strong guy. I'm gonna teach him how to fight small, fight compact." But he said, "But he's he's fast, he's quick, he's gonna need to move." So I'm also showing him how to move around the ring, like 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 uh like Muhammad Ali too, you know. And then with Kenny. Kenny, he pretty much said, Kenny's going to be slim. He's going to be strong. He's going to be tall. So I'm a, everything was Roy Jones for Kenny. Everything was Roy Jones and Muhammad Ali for Kenny. Kenny watching this? Uh, no, nah, not right now. Well, no. good. Kenny, I, you were about to whoop your ass, player. <laughs> Hope you see that, too. Yeah, but I ain't, I ain't nothing but a part of student. <laughs> yep. and, 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 when, and when I tell young kids, Roy, I tell them, I say, yo, watch these guys. Find something you like about them. You don't have to do it exactly like them. But if you like it and you can do it, do it, mold it, and make it your own. 